Hello and welcome. This is Brian Stevens, Vice President for Google's Cloud Platform, responsible for products. My name is Carl Schachter. I'm the Vice President for Google Cloud Platforms, responsible for our go-to-market efforts. We're here today to talk to you about some of the innovations in Google Cloud Storage. Big data, video, and the Internet of Things are driving high demand for data storage in today's IT environments. Like the physical universe, the digital universe is large and getting bigger by the second. IDC estimates that the digital universe is doubling in size every two years, and by 2020, it will reach 44 zettabytes, or 44 trillion gigabytes. By 2020, data from IoT devices will account for 10% of the digital universe, representing 32 billion devices connected to the Internet, generating massive amounts of data. According to IDC, data stored in the cloud will increase from a single-digit percentage to nearly 40% by 2020, putting huge constraints on existing storage architectures. And enterprises will get an increased amount of responsibility, mainly coming from the large volume of data that they will have to handle. 85% of all that data produced will be controlled, managed, and under the responsibility of enterprises. This data includes personally identifiable information, medical data, and financial data. So what does it all mean? While we all struggle to come up with a unified theory of the data universe, there is one constant. Big data needs to be managed and costs need to be kept under control. The acceleration of production of data has three main impacts on today's company's storage strategies. First, the amount of data to store is growing exponentially. We just went over the numbers. It's growing very fast and getting difficult to manage for enterprises for many reasons, from existing architecture to processing framework. Second, the cost is becoming astronomical and can sometimes prevent companies from investing in key areas of their businesses. Historically, the disk industry was able to deliver a 40% reduction in cost every year, but this reduction has not been maintained in recent years. As a result, the effective cost of storing data is increasing. And third, highly valuable long-tail data needs to be kept. Data gets cold over time, but it doesn't mean that we have to throw it away. Organizations can no longer afford to throw data away as it's critical to conducting analysis and gaining market intelligence, but they also can't afford to overpay for large volumes of data storage. As a consequence, we believe the industry needs a new type of storage. First, companies need a type of storage with quick data retrieval and access, where archive data can be accessed in seconds in order to restore backup data in the event of a disaster or to leverage previously locked in data at any time. Second, Companies need a new type of storage to store large volumes of data at extremely low cost. Most companies need limitless storage capacity for backup, disaster recovery, and archiving data. And finally, companies need a new type of storage with simplified access to archive data. More than ever, companies need an easy and consistent way to manage and access their archive data. That's why we're pleased to introduce Google Cloud Storage Nearline. Nearline is our third offering of the Google Cloud Storage family. Google Cloud Storage Nearline is a new class of storage service for businesses to easily back up and store limitless amounts of data at a very low cost and access it at any time in a matter of seconds instead of hours. Google Cloud Storage Nearline was made available to customers in beta in all Google Cloud Platform regions on March 11, 2015. Google's new Nearline storage service is a game changer for the way you store cold data. For many, it will be the end of tape. Compared to the traditional storage methods, Nearline enables businesses to easily back up and store limitless amounts of data at a very low cost and access it at any time in a matter of seconds. Cold storage is no longer cold with Nearline, and you'll never have to delete or throw away anything ever again. You will also never have to guess when you will need which information and how much it will cost you. By using Nearline as your backup and archival storage solution, you will actually be able to extract value out of your data. I will now turn this over to Brian, who will explain in more details Nearline and some best practices that could help your business reduce cost and increase productivity. Brian? Thanks, Carl. As Carl said, we're very excited to introduce Nearline to the world. With Nearline, we are witnessing a new category of storage that will break down the silos between online data and cold storage. Google Cloud Platform delivers a breadth of storage services that have one main goal reduce the cost and operational overhead of building and managing storage infrastructure, all the while delivering reliable global accessibility. 
Our storage offerings range from block devices, object, SQL, and NoSQL. And depending on what you're trying to do, we make it really easy for you to mix and match. Persistent disks provide a virtual block device that can be mounted by compute engine VMs. Cloud storage is our object storage for managing unstructured large objects and files. Cloud SQL gives you fully managed MySQL instances so you can have a relational database and a more traditional approach to queries and analytics. And then finally, Cloud Data Store is a NoSQL solution providing a nearly infinite scalable schemaless solution. Today, we're exploring the category of Google Cloud Storage offerings for object storage. We now offer you three simple product options to help you improve the performance of your applications while keeping your costs really low. To make things easier for you, these three products options all provide the exact same API, providing you with a simple and consistent method of access. So here's how you should think about Google Cloud Storage. Standard storage offers our highest performance, always available storage, simple HTTP-based API accessible from applications written in any modern programming language. Durable reduced availability storage provides a lower cost option that doesn't require immediate and guaranteed access to storage. Google Cloud Storage Nearline is our new class of storage service for businesses to easily back up and store limitless amounts of data at a very low cost, access it at any time in a matter of seconds instead of hours or days. Nearline will change how the industry thinks about data retention because it offers you the ability to store large amounts of data at a very low cost, along with the ability to access that data quickly. At a penny a gigabyte per month for data at rest and retrieval time in seconds compared to hours for existing competitive offerings, we just invented a new class of storage. The combination means that common use storage cases such as backup, archival, and even disaster recovery can now move to the cloud. Furthermore, Nearline storage is easy. The consistent unified API lets you manage your storage consistently across all of the Google Cloud storage offerings. Nearline is simply a choice you make when you create your buckets, everything else stays the same. Now let's spend some time looking at legacy and traditional data lifecycle management concepts and how to make them better. Today's rapid growth of unstructured data calls for efficient storage management of emerging data types, a critical consideration for keeping up with the evolving business demands cost effectively. In particular, organizations are realizing a huge shift in data composition, which is primarily driven by trends such as moving to a digital business, virtualization, electronic document stores, Web 2.0 technologies, and digital records retention. And as a result, the capacity needed to store unstructured data continues to escalate far beyond the capacity required for structured databases. To respond to this IT need of rapidly expanding file storage capacity and making that capacity accessible to both on-premise and in the cloud, enterprises will have to redesign their storage architecture while keeping their costs low. The data management framework as we know it today is broken and does not address the needs of companies as they move to digital, cloud, and mobile. Often, data needed to drive applications, business decisions, analytics, and rich end-user engagement simply isn't available where you need it and when you need it. Furthermore, many of today's backup deployments deliver false security. According to the Boston Computing Network, 77% of companies who tested their backup tapes discovered failures. Companies need reliable off-site backup and recovery options that don't break the bank to protect data while keeping that data accessible as business needs change. Google Cloud Storage provides a number of ways to significantly improve the lifecycle management of your objects. With Nearline, you will be able to define policies for objects that have a well-defined lifecycle. Some documents and logs are frequently accessed for a limited period of time. After that, you might not need real-time access to these objects, but your organization might require you to archive them for a longer period of time, and for some, to optionally delete them later. Using lifecycle configuration, you will be able to automatically transition objects from the standard storage class to the nearline storage class, which significantly will reduce your TCO. In today's world, data is often transferred to tape much later than it should be, sometimes as much as two or three years later than it could be. With nearline, it can happen much faster without the risk of making a mistake. And because of the competitive pricing Google is offering, not only can you store limitless amounts of data at a very low cost, but you can access it at any time. In a recent report, Gartner stated that by 2018, 40% of organizations will augment or change their current backup applications. By 2016, 20% of organizations will abandon traditional backup recovery in favor of newer technologies. And by 2019, there will be a 50% increase in the number of large enterprises eliminating tape backup for operational recovery. What's driving this is back up the way we know it today is broken. There are three dilemmas enterprises have to deal with on a daily basis when it comes to backup. Everyone needs to back up their data, we know that. Nobody likes it, though. You just have to do it. It's a must. Second, 
Backup is just a cost center. It doesn't generate any revenue. It's not a differentiator. And finally, when it's done and the data is stored on tape somewhere, it's very difficult to get it back. So summarize, you have to do it, it's super expensive, and you can't count on that your data is protected. So let's look at how Nearline can change that. Nearline addresses the challenges plaguing the enterprise backup, while at the same time delivering many other compelling features. We made it ridiculously cost-effective at a penny per gigabyte per month. We also made it easy. Nearline does not require you to adopt new programming models. Data manipulation remains the same across all cloud storage services with a single API. And we made the data backups always accessible and quickly, not hours or days, but seconds. Essentially, Nearline enables low-cost, performant, simple and secure backup use cases. Through our work with Symantec, it will be even easier for enterprises to take advantage of Nearline. Veritas Net Backup is the most commonly used software in the enterprise distributed backup space, with more than twice the market share of the second place vendor. Google Cloud Storage is working with the Net Backup team to deliver seamless support for using Google Cloud Storage as a storage target from within Net Backup. Let's compare traditional tape backup to modern backup to the cloud. In the old world, you'd have to have agents on servers that you needed to protect. The Net Backup Media Server works with the agents to pull data down based on your backup schedule and policies, then indexes or catalogs the data and then streams the backup to a tape library or an autoloader. The tape library rotates magnetic tapes and writes the data sequentially. When the tape is full, it's often put in a box where it is picked up by a transportation company that drives or flies it to an off-site warehouse. The data sits in a climate-controlled warehouse until it is needed or marked for destruction. Recovery of data is equally painful. You must find the file and tape you need, submit a request to return the tape, wait for it to be shipped, and then re-index the tape and spool the tape sequentially until you can find your file. Recovery can be days for a single file. Anywhere in this process, data could get destroyed or lost due to human error or technology failure. Everywhere in this process, you're paying for the equipment, the people, and the space. So let's compare the net backup experience that leverages Nearline. With Nearline, no change is required in your existing net backup configuration. No need to change or update your backup software or the installed agents. The difference is, instead of choosing an on-premise disk or tape library as the target, you choose Nearline storage as your target. You simply need to have an existing project with Google, and you'll be able to select it as your target from within that backup interface. Data can be encrypted by NetBackup and sent securely to your Google Cloud Storage bucket. In Google Cloud Storage, backup can be deleted or expired based on policies that you set or directly recovered when needed. It's really that simple. So with this simple change, your NetBackup data is now stored with 11 nines of durability protection, predictable performance with relatency of only two to three seconds versus days, as you wait for the tape to be shipped back, and a 99% availability of your data with global accessibility, highly secure storage where all data is automatically and always encrypted at rest, and finally, using affordable storage that only costs a penny a gigabyte per month, only a penny to get 11 nines of data durability with two second latency on recovery. This model changes nothing in the workflow. You just replace the tape mess with a secure connection to Google Cloud Storage. The second scenario we'll look at is enterprise disaster recovery. As we all know, disasters come in different shapes and sizes. All companies need to plan for business continuity in the event of a disaster that would destroy part or all of their business resources, including their IT equipment, data records, and the physical space of an organization. Disasters can include real disasters that we think about in fires, floods, power failures, or weather related, but also it includes human errors and things like viruses, disk drive faults, and corrupted data. We recently found some interesting data on the cost of disaster recovery I wanted to share with you. IDC research indicates that more than 70% of companies surveyed experienced up to 10 hours of unplanned downtime over the past 12 months. And 27% of those companies estimated that cost of downtime ranged between $10,000 and $99,000 per hour. So what's the solution? Disaster recovery planning and solutions require careful consideration with special attention given to the recovery point objective and recovery time objective of business applications. Nearline provides a simple and easy way to get started. First, you can establish a hot or warm standby compute pool with Google Compute Engine. For application failover, you can create a VM image that can load into the Google Compute Engine for workload migrations during disaster recovery failures. And then depending on the RTO requirements, you can configure replication pools and set up failure scenarios for bringing up partial or complete failover capacity online. And then second, keep the disaster recovery data in Nearline to reduce the TCO. 
To minimize the cost of disaster recovery failover, you can keep the data in Nearline as your long-term, highly durable storage. This will give you the best trade-off between availability, durability, and cost for the data that is expected to be accessed only infrequently. And finally, in case of disaster, either move your data to the standard or DRA bucket for improved access, or read it directly into your VM to restart the application failover. It's important to keep the data and your standby compute resources in the same region to avoid copying the data across wide area networks. In addition, to make things easier for our clients, we've worked with the storage industry to bring key use cases to life for our customers. Here are some of the key partners we're working with at Beta. Obviously, Symantec to help you seamlessly manage the lifecycle of your backups and keep a central catalog and recovery point for all your protected information, regardless of where it is stored. We're working with NetApp to help you reduce data volumes by up to 30 times and speed data transport times 4x, making the on-ramp of data to the cloud from existing infrastructure seamless. We're working with Iron Mountain to design an on-ramp to the cloud via an offline ingestion service that leverages Iron Mountain security, logistics, and data management capabilities. If you have massive amounts of data and limited network connectivity, you'll be able to simply package up and send your disk to Iron Mountain where they will be uploaded directly into Nearline. And finally, Geminar. Google partnered with disaster recovery management software company Geminar. Geminar works with traditional servers and enables dual asynchronous writes to local storage and to Google Cloud Platform. These replicated servers act as standby servers in the case of a disaster. So when there's a failure, Geminar orchestrates the rerouting of traffic to Google Cloud Platform in a few seconds, which minimizes business downtime. So Geminar will offer a disaster recovery as a service solution running on top of Google Cloud Platform and leveraging Google Cloud Storage Nearline. Then companies can leverage Google Cloud as their secondary data center location, enabling real DR modernization to occur, and for the first time, cost-effective replication of their current data center locations. This evolution of disaster recovery into Google Cloud Platform allows companies to capitalize on Google's global data center operational experience and excellence. Some example companies that are taking advantage of the Google Geminar solution include Cosentry, a managed hosting company in the Midwest, and Total Title Solutions, a full-service title company in support of realtors and consumers in residential and commercial real estate. Cosentry is adding DR as a service to its existing solutions portfolio and will offer the option to recover directly to Google's cloud. Cosentry will be leveraging Geminar and Nearline because of the solution's affordability, flexibility, and overall ease of use. Google Nearline changes the rules in storage. Imagine a future where you have access to all of your data all of the time. What new services could you deliver? What new businesses could you create? This is an exciting future. I couldn't be more thrilled by the work we've accomplished and the great product we just released. But even more exciting is to see how our partners and customers are already taking advantage of it to solve some problems that have burdened the industry for decades. I want to thank you for your time today, and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions at cloud.google.com.